Hi folks, welcome back to Simple Man's Barbecue. Um, I just want to start off this video by saying um, Simple Man's Barbecue is not a how-to channel, folks, okay? This is not me trying to teach anybody how to cook because I'm in no position or any means to, to tell, teach anybody how to cook, okay? And the reason why I'm coming at you with this is because this video is going to be another epic fail, okay? Um, it... I don't want to give too much away, but it's it's just a fail, okay? But um, I'm going to be completely real with y'all. Uh, anytime I fail, I will post it on here for y'all to see, okay? I don't want to hide anything. I don't want to make y'all think that I only show y'all the good things that I cook because I have epic failures big time. Um, I've only been barbecuing for a little over a year, and I've got a lot to learn, folks. A lot, a lot, a lot to learn. But, um... Just want to share this with y'all, just so y'all know. I hope y'all get a good laugh out of it, because me and my wife sure did. But, um, here we go, folks. Epic fail coming your way. Hey, folks. Welcome back to Simple Man's Barbecue. I'm Jason. Today, uh, I'm going to be smoking two chuck roasts today on my uh, pit barrel cooker. I know I did a chuck roast um, a couple weeks ago, but I'm going to do another one. Who cares, man? Chuck roasts are awesome. Me and my wife love them. She actually says she likes chuck roasts better than brisket. Go figure. But um, today, um, I'm using my jalapeno rub and uh, and my trusty old uh, salt, um, se seasoning salt and uh, pepper mix. I'm all, I'm all out of the Los Pendejos. Very sad panda here. This stuff is so good. We use it up. Oh, yeah. I love that stuff. Me too. All right, I'm going to go with my jalapeno rub first. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. This stuff right here will choke you nose. up. <laughs> and uh, my chuck roast here are actually frozen. I soaked them in water <coughs> for about 10 minutes just to melt the outside so I can get my seasoning to stick. But if y'all know me, that I'm not scared to smoke some frozen meat, man. I've done it many times. <laughs> With great success. <laughs> Ooh, man, it's tough, though. And that's because you're talking <laughs> and inhaling it. Uh, what I should have done was flip it over. <coughs> Woo! Excuse me, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and just smother all this real quick. Try to get this over with as quick as I can so I can put the cap on this thing. Woo. Oh, excuse me. Bless. Excuse me, folks. Bless. Man, that is killer. But the flavor is awesome, though. I'm going to cover my mouth. Excuse me. Thank you. It's a jalapeno rub. So I'm going to just season this up real good. Y'all know I've, I've done this many times. Y'all see me do this many times. But uh, what I'm going to do, folks, what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to go ahead and get this, um, get the rest of this rubbed up. Excuse me, my eyes are all watery, man. <laughs> I'm the jalapeno rub. You okay? But uh, I know. I'm telling you, man. I'm about ready to cry. <laughs> but I'm going to get this seasoned up. I'm gonna, I'll meet y'all in the pit barrel cooker, okay? We'll see you here in a few minutes. All right, folks. Uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get this on the rack. I'm not going to hang this. Of course, I can't. It's frozen. I can't get it hooked through there. So I'm going to just lay it straight on the rack. Today I'm cooking with straight mesquite wood. It's been a long time since I've cooked with mesquite. And I know that beef and mesquite go really good together. Okay. Ooh, getting smoked now, out here. Let me just put my rebar in correctly. So what's the point of putting those on there? This is actually to help control the um, airflow. Because if you took these out, then the holes are completely exposed uh, and you got even more airflow, which gives you even higher temperatures. Uh, so these help, these help, even though you're not hanging ribs or hanging meat on there, they still help to regulate temperature. Uh, but okay, folks, uh, I'm going to let this go for a couple hours. Then we'll come out here and spray it and we'll let you take a look at it. And then uh, I'll probably spritz it a couple times for you all to see. And then we'll take it in the house and then we'll uh, cut it open and see how we did. All right, we'll sell here in a little bit. All right, folks, this is what we're looking like after the two-hour mark. Um, I don't know if y'all can see there, but I got some nice coloring going on there. And um, it's not where I quite want to be. I want to be a little bit darker before I wrap it. 
but uh, as y'all know by now, if y'all don't know me, I always finish uh, most of my cooks off in the oven. So once I get this to the point that I like it, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it and finish it in the oven. But uh, I'm going to give it a quick spritz real quick. Right now I'm using uh, a mixture of half and half water and apple cider vinegar. My pit has been uh, maintaining at about... Uh, uh, two, 250 to 275 degrees tonight, which I'm very happy with that. Usually I'm above 300 all the time, but um, tonight, tonight, uh, tonight, uh, not so much, and I'm happy with that. All right, folks, I'm gonna let that go for another couple of hours, and then I'll probably go ahead and wrap her up and then uh, finish her in the oven. I'll see y'all back in a little bit. All right, folks, this is what we're looking like after uh, four hours. Um, right now she's temping at 178 internal, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and wrap her up and throw her in the oven. And if y'all can see, um, for extra flavor and uh, to help keep it moist, I added three cubes of uh, butter on top, and I also added three cubes of butter on the bottom. You just can't see it. But uh, I'm going to do the same thing with um, with my other, my other chuck roast, the exact same thing. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap these up. And then next time y'all see me, we'll go ahead and dig into these. That's my oven letting me know that it's ready. But uh, next time y'all see me, we'll go ahead and uh, and uh, pull into these. And uh, we'll take a taste test and see how we did. All right, we'll see y'all back here in a little bit. All right, y'all. Um, it's all done now. Uh, this took a total of uh, five hours, actually. And um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my other uh, roast in here. I got one right here. Is what both roasts are looking like after five hours of smoking on the pit barrel cooker and uh, one and a half hours that. yeah one one and a half hours of rest so I'm gonna go ahead and pull into these and uh, I can tell you right now folks just by the smell these are gonna be amazing oh man look at that smoke ring man Man, this one really penetrated that. <laughs> what is so funny, woman? <laughs> oh, man, that's real tough right there. Dang, man. <laughs> you know, I pulled this off at 197. <laughs> that might have been a little bit too early. I just said probably have pulled it off that early, man. I was so worried about it drying out, man. Because Chuck Roast, you know, that's a Chuck Roast. <laughs> All right, folks. Um, This one's pretty darn tough, man. So let's try pulling into this other one. <laughs> well, come on, man. Toss me a bow in here now. Oh, <laughs> Dang, man. <laughs> Must be them alien ribs I had, man. It's still having an effect on me. <laughs> man. Well, folks. <laughs> Just know this is not a how-to channel, <laughs> okay? I'm not here to teach you how to cook. I'm just here. To, I'm just here to cook, man. You're <laughs> but I me. promise you, this is gonna get eaten because it's gonna be delicious. And um, <laughs> uh, let me let me take a bite of this real quick. It's good though. It's so good. I love this stuff. Well, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of this. It's real good. <laughs> it's not tough in your mouth, but it sure was tough pulling apart, though. But the flavor's amazing, man. That seasoned salt mixed with that jalapeno pepper rub, that's excellent together. Remember, folks, 
this is not a how-to video, okay? <laughs> not even a how-to channel, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to cook, man, and I got I got failures and I've got and I've got victories, and this is definitely a failure, man. But this ain't my first failure y'all have seen. So, but anyways, um, but damn, that is good though, folks. <laughs> But listen, man, I appreciate y'all watching, man. God bless y'all, man. Um, if y'all can, um, press, press stop. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, I appreciate y'all watching. God bless y'all, man. Uh, if you can, just please like and subscribe. Um, if y'all find this video any kind of entertaining for y'all, man. But, um, but yeah, please like and subscribe, man. God bless y'all. Um, and always keep it simple. Have a good day.